Intralipid infusion as itself, it's a lipid solution made from soya and it's uh, given uh, approximately one week before the embryo transfer. Uh, we do know that this uh, lipid infusion lower the uh, chance of activation these natural growth cells. They might uh, uh, improve the implantation chances and by, by modifying the immunologic conditions on the surface of the lining. So they might uh, improve the implantation rate in patients where a natural growth cells problem was identified. Very, very small part, let's say less than 1% of the patient might have uh, headaches, uh, some, some fever after that, uh, but it's, it's very rare. It generally, it's considered a, a very safe method. Only uh, patients which have allergies to soya or allergies to any type of, of milk products might be aware of this and might uh, get some information before having uh, such infusion. You need to have a cannula to have the infusion, but uh, when the cannula is properly uh, laid and it's removed after the infusion, should not have, should not be any problem. The intralipid infusion are uh, most suitable for problems where we know uh, from immunology testing that they uh, deal with higher NK cells or higher activation of NK cells connected with previous implantation failure or uh, repeated pregnancy loss as well.